Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, I'm going to be doing a second uh, reading out of The Further Adventures of Stanley Larson. So here I go. Tomorrow is another day, a spunky female character said in a movie once. Scarlett O'Hara, yeah, he thought. Stanley headed for a reasonably remote stretch of road in North Hills, parked his car and recalled, again, an injury he'd had once, trying to high jump a rope placed across the rear entrance to the barracks when he was stationed in San Diego. It was late at night. The rope was up to signal that returning liberty takers needed to use the front entrance at that hour. But, having been drinking down in Tijuana, he felt rather rebellious and loose and stupid. He ran and jumped, throwing his right leg over the rope. But he hesitated because he saw that the pavement and then the steps on the other side of the rope were not conducive to landing and rolling on, something a more sober Stanley would have noticed before jumping. His face and groin struck the rope, which did not give. It was well secured at either end, and he bounced over onto his back, the pain in his face and his groin excruciating, not to mention his back. This was the event he primaled about that day, on the side of the road, in his car. He screamed and yelled, reliving the moment. It didn't take long. He had a small cushion he pressed against his face to muffle the sounds, and he rolled up his windows. It hadn't looked like anyone would drive by, but at short intervals, he stopped to take a breath and scope out the street in both directions. If a car was coming by, he'd merely wait for it to pass and then recall the feelings, the action of leaping over the rope but not making it, of landing hard on it, and then he'd release the pent-up pain again. The process, the method, he was quite familiar with. It was the specific trauma that changed. Of course, he'd had to repeat the primling a lot over the years when a trauma was deep and extremely painful. Funny thing was, one never really knew for sure how deep or painful a given event, trauma, circumstance was until it found its way to the surface. Sometimes certain events would be surprisingly painful. Instead of being a victim of abuse or torment or negligence by someone else, this time the painful experience had been caused by himself alone, many, many years past. Not that it made much difference. Whoever caused the trauma, whether it was intentional or unintentional, mattered not in the least. The only issue regarding who and why pain had been inflicted was the further pain which needed to be felt, if it was inflicted by someone who was expected to be on Stanley's or anyone's side. A victim of betrayal, of trickiness, of fraud in unexpected fashion had the deep emotional hurt of such betrayal to deal with also. But not in this case. No one had told him to high jump the rope. No one had tricked him into doing it. So that was the second uh, installment that I read out of The Further Adventures of Stanley Larson. Glad I was able to get that out all in one <laughs> sentence just now instead of, uh, instead of flubbing my words <laughs> like I did before. So anyways, yeah, um, this is a great book. I'm looking forward to reading the rest of it, and I hope you all are too if you haven't already gone on to Amazon or polymat.com to purchase this book um, or all the other books. Um, it's a great read. All the other books are great reads. Um, I have to get through a lot of them, too, and also put my um, uh, my reviews on Amazon, which I'm so looking forward to doing because I, I really want to give this support to Paul, and I know you all do, too. Um, so uh, that's it for today, and hope you all have a wonderful week. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye-bye.